When it comes to spiritual talks, the pineal gland is my favorite topic. This gland is situated near the center of our brains and is less than a centimeter in size, but it plays a major role related our consciousness. Complete functioning of pineal gland is a mystery, but we know it produces melatonin, which helps us to dream and also regulates our internal body clock, telling us when to eat and sleep. In modern sciences, pineal gland is considered as just another endocrine gland, but it is surely more than that. This tiny part of the brain might just be the most powerful part of all. Let's start. In the second century CE, the first written record of the pineal gland was made by Galen, who was a Roman and a Greek physician and a philosopher. Galen given credit of first pineal gland studies to Herophilus, who was a Greek scholar in anatomy existed before Galen. As per study of Herophilus, the pineal gland was acted as a valve in the brain. The pineal gland was thought to regulate the flow of vital spirits by guarding the brain chambers and maintaining the right amount of this flow. It was conceived as a guardian that regulated the movement of vital spirits. This idea was endorsed by other Greek scholars of that time, but later Galen denied all of his studies. Galen argued against the existing concept, asserting that the gland had no spiritual role and was just a supporting organ of the brain. He called it a gland because of its appearance and said that it has the same function as all other glands of the body to serve as a support for blood vessels. But maybe he was wrong and Herophilus was right. In recent times, a 17th century French philosopher, scientist, and mathematician, René Descartes, described the pineal gland as the seat of the soul. This has became one of the most influential concepts till date. René Descartes was very much interested in functions of pineal gland. He has published many books upon it. In his last book, The Passions of the Souls, he stated this about pineal gland. Quote unquote, the part of the body in which the soul directly exercises its functions is not the heart at all, or the whole of the brain. It is rather the innermost part of the brain, which is a certain very small gland situated in the middle of the brain's substance and suspended above the passage through which the spirits in the brain's anterior cavities communicate with those in its posterior cavities. The slightest movements on the part of this gland may alter very greatly the course of these spirits. Descartes also believed that the soul is not a substance, but the first actuality or substantial form of the living body, which is nothing but pineal gland. Pineal gland holds an important spot in spiritual sciences. This gland appears in many ancient texts and is symbolized in various ways. In ancient Egyptian history, for instance, the eye of Horus or the eye of Ra closely matches with the pineal gland structure within the brain. The Eye of Horus was believed to have powerful mystical properties, serving as a protective talisman against evil forces and a source of divine insight. Its connection to the pineal gland arises from the idea that the Eye of Horus represents the physical counterpart to the Eye of Wisdom or the inner eye, which facilitates spiritual visions and access to the realms of higher consciousness. Also, many Egyptian gods are shown with a pine cone symbol representing the pineal gland. In ancient Hindu cultures, there is a symbol showing two snakes rising along a pole and meeting at the top where an eagle sits. This represents the same concept. The eagle symbolizes the pineal gland, the snakes shows the feminine and masculine energies in the body, and the pole is the spine. One of the major Hindu gods Shiva and other Hindu deities are frequently shown with a third eye on their foreheads. This eye represents enlightenment and the ability to perceive the higher realms of existence and consciousness. Here is one of the biblical references as well that could be taken as a reference to the third eye. Remarkably, the pineal gland is the only part of the brain that isn't paired with any other. It is a singular unified organ and not split into two parts like the rest of the brain. Interestingly, people who lead a spiritual or super healthy lifestyle are believed to have a larger pineal gland. Our clarity of thought and awareness are closely linked to the health of this tiny organ. Basically, this gland has a lot to do with human mind. Some researchers also believe that pineal gland might produce dimethyltryptamine, known as DMT, a psychedelic substance related with visionary experiences and altered states of consciousness. There seems a lot about this gland, which is yet to be discovered, and we may never fully understand it. This small, grain-sized organ might hold the key to the secrets we've been searching for years. Until next time, take care.